Hi guys, let's look at the strategy. How does the strategy works? Now I'm selecting the gain box and I'm just zooming in, connecting low. Wait a minute. Let's reselect it. Connecting low till the high. And I'm copy pasting it and attaching it to the previous one. Wait a minute. Here we go. Now, the first thing to understand, now we are zooming, uh, we are like going forward just to show you something. The first thing to note is where the trend is because trend is the really important thing. Now, once we attach this low till this high, it's something that has happened in the past. But now we are trading in the future. So in the future, you'll be seeing what the highs are doing. If the highs continue to go lower and break the previous low, this low is broken right here. So it shows a downward trend. If we just move forward and copy this gain box, it's not exact, so we need to change it. Here we go. Now, I've attached it. Now, what do you see? Initially, you're seeing the highs are going lower and the lows are getting broken day by day. But then, what do you see? You see that the lows start to point higher or go same. These are same. Then this low is higher. This low is higher. So it starts to form upward movement. This is really important. Now, what do I mean by that? The first thing is to understand you need to buy or you need to short sell because once you will know which one to follow then you can make a good trade. Now a trend line is really important. Example I have attached these two lows and wait a minute right click format Here we go. Now you are seeing that these two lows attached are showing the trend line that is stopping the price to go below this line. Even if it went below, the next day it opened higher. So you can form trend lines which will help you understand okay what the trend is. This was a long term trend line. It's pointing up. Now let's attach the highs. From this high To this high. I'm going format. This is right. Okay. Now you're seeing that the highs are going lower. Even if it closed higher, if I just zoom in for you and move forward, even if it closed higher, it opened lower. It closed higher, went lower, and then went higher. So basically, these trend lines help you understand what the trend is. You sh either you should be buying or you should be short selling. It's up to you. It's not correct completely, so I have just directed it. Yep, it's now correct. So this is how you will understand, okay, what's happening in the market. How to buy or how to sell or how to short sell. The first thing is to understanding the picture. Now, this is really important because once you will know that the trend is down, then you can easily short sell and you will have a complete idea what's happening. These levels, 
can help you gauge what's happening. Example, the price went lower. Now you know the price is going down, so you might be short selling. But if you short sold it and the price went higher, then you can put a stop loss on highs or on levels. It's up to you. But the time frames are really important because time frames help you understand that the change in trend can happen at any time. So this is how you see the future. In the daily uh, mark or a weekly mark, you can aim for a longer run chart. How to trade the future. Number one, if you're aiming for the short run, that is intraday, then aim for a shorter profit, but quicker profit. So gain box help you to enter the trade, but the exit part of the strategy remains with you. So you exit in within the intraday extremely fast because that's the uh, like uh, the theme of intraday. If you're trading the daily chart, you can easily see the future. Example, you short sold it here. So you can see that the price is going lower. And from the time frame, that is these vertical lines can help you understand or gauge your aim, what's happening. Now, let me do something for you. I'm changing the daily trend to the weekly chart. Now I am zooming out. Okay, let's check where were we placing our gain box. Okay, this date is 2016 July. So let's turn to weekly. Here we go. Now. If I zoom in, if you just look at it straight, we have put three gain boxes, right? This is the first box from this zero till this zero, and from this zero till this zero is second box, and from this zero till this one is third box, right? If you look closely, the low and the high on the weekly chart shows you the trend. Then it was falling. But if you look closely, this candle's low is where the like the bottom reaches the fall stops there if you know the candlesticks uh, patterns you will know this proves that the trend is bullish and that's exactly what happens if the price rises up so basically you will be merging the candlestick and the gain box into one now how do you do that uh, if you look closely right here it's a three uh, red soldiers or three black soldiers pattern. So it's showing you that the trend is down, right? It's going down, down, down. But then this green candle eats this red candle. So it shows you that the trend is up. So this is how you can take the longer run trend. Now, once you know the, what the longer run trend is, it's easier to make money. Now, how is it easier? Let's grab this date. This is June 13th, 2016. Let's move back to uh, daily chart. Here we go. Let's zoom in. Let's move out. Zoom in. Now from here, we already knew that the trend is up, right? From here somewhere. Now once we know that, we can easily buy at 40.55 and aim for the highest point, 41.87. Easy money on the intraday level. Even after that, it starts to go forward. But once you know the where, what the trend is, you can easily sell or short sell. And these lines can help you gauge what's happening within the trend. So you can easily gauge if it is down, so you can short sell. If it is up, you can buy. It's up to you. If you're trading for the longer run, if I just turn to weekly. Let me zoom in. Let me put it within the center. Now, if you aim for the longer run, Right here, this green candle ate it at thirty nine sixty eight, and then it went higher to forty one ninety one. 
you already knew once this candle green was formed that it can like cross this level and it did you went higher so it showed you what the future holds it even showed you that this is the highest moment in time uh, the highest level in time even if it went straight then you and you would have the insight to see what's happening because once this red candle ate, uh, like ate all these green candles you already knew it's falling down so you could have short sold it rather than buy it and these levels if i just copy it and put another one right next to it and just put another one right next to it so you can easily see the trend you can easily aim for the longer hit now a double high example this high and this high represents a downward trend it formed a triple high first high second high third high if you don't know about chart patterns you could take that course i have that course uh, the point is most people will know about it so a double or triple top represents a downward movement so you can easily aim uh, accordingly these time levels also help you understand now if you look on the weekly chart the time levels won't be looking to be making much sense but if i turn to daily chart you'll start to see the pattern and if i will turn to the intraday chart you'll start to see more patterns that's how the game works the levels they might not be showing themselves on the weekly chart but on the daily chart you are seeing that this 0.618 line works wonders wait a minute no it's not exact so i need to make it exact here we go now if you look closely this 6.0.618 level was important it stopped even here it went higher touched the ceiling then again it came back once it was going straight you already knew that this was an important level and it did fell to this level after this level this level was important it did touched it even when it broke this level it touched this level so basically you could see the levels forming easily it wasn't some rocket science and the time frame levels it worked wonders just look at it from 0.618 level the price changed downward trend from this 618 uh, 0.618 level price turned up if you look at the uh, second uh, box you will see from 0.618 level the high started to form lower and you could have earned easily again from 0.61 uh level here you're starting to see the low starting to go up so you can aim higher so basically the candlestick and the gain box once they align themselves you can see the future and you can form trend lines which will help you understand okay what's happening how should i trade if the level is up or down and you can easily make money i will be also giving live trading examples so that you can see how to literally trade them on the intraday level if you're trading on the longer term level this is how you will do as we just discussed it thank you